Iran's rocket launch ends in failure. Satellite images show that an Iranian rocket appears to have exploded on the launch pad on Thursday. The satellite pictures were taken Thursday morning of the regime's Imam Khomeini Space Center in Iran's Semnan province. The photos show black smoke and part of a painted launch pad apparently scorched away. David Schmiller, a senior research associate at the Middlebury Institute of International Studies, said, Whatever happened there, it blew up, and you're looking at the smouldering remains of what used to be there. The failure is the third by the Iranian regime this year. In January and February, the regime attempted to launch two rockets, both of which failed to reach orbit. New plan enforced to step up suppression of women for improper veiling. A new plan is going to be enforced this week across Iran to further step up suppression of women for improper veiling. The acting commander of police, Ayob Soleimani, said the new plan, called NASA 2, or Observer 2, is going to be implemented. The new plan is designed to put maximum pressure on women. According to the new plan, police will be present in public places, major stores and beaches to give warnings to women who are considered improperly veiled based on the regime's standards. Soleimani said, The plan is going to be implemented this week, beginning on Saturday, and in every place which is more public, our presence and monitoring will be more serious. The regime's police had already implemented the NASA 1 plan to monitor women who remove their veils inside their cars. Iran regime collectively executes eight people at Gorodasht prison. Eight people were collectively executed in Iran's notorious Gorodash prison in Karaj on August 29th. They were transferred to solitary confinement on August 26th to be prepared for execution. On Wednesday morning, Iranian authorities executed a man who had killed the regime's notorious Friday prayers leader in Karazon. Also, authorities in Babul, northern Iran, hanged a man in public during the early hours of Monday, the state media reported. On the same day, the regime executed a woman in Mashhad prison. Rights Group publishes new report on enforced disappearances in Iran. To mark the International Day of the Victims of Enforced Disappearances on 30th of August, the human rights group Iran Human Rights Monitor has published a new report titled Enforced Disappearances in Iran and the 1988 Massacre. The report says the Iranian regime has a history of cracking down on its opponents, incommunicado detentions, arbitrary abductions, summary executions, torture and enforced disappearances are among practices commonly used against opponents. Dissident intellectuals and students, ethnic groups and religious minorities and members and supporters of the MEK have always been targeted. The group urged the United Nations to take all necessary measures to end impunity for Iranian officials. It said the time has come for referring the dossier of human rights violations in Iran, particularly the enforced disappearances and executions of the 1980s and the 1988 massacre of political prisoners, to the UN Security Council. The full report is available on the Iran Human Rights Monitor website.